Thank you, Martina. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting just hearing uh, Suzanne talk about the origins of Backstage. My first experience with open source Backstage was back in April 2020. It had just been open sourced in March the month before. Um, I'd seen the videos that Spotify had produced of the internal version of Backstage, and uh, I was so excited to try it. And so I went straight to GitHub, had 3,000 stars, cloned it to my laptop, ran it, and I got a welcome screen and nothing else. Um, it was uh, quite a confusing experience. Um, but this community has obviously come around from that kind of humble beginning, and I think it's a testament to the vision that Spotify put forward and the way that Backstage has resonated with the community. We've needed something like this for so long, and um, we're all... You know, you, you can see the momentum that's behind it, and, and, uh, and it's resulted in this, and it's just amazing to be here. It's a privilege. Um, I want to give a lot of credit to Spotify for that. I think they've done an excellent job of managing the community, marketing the tool, you know, working with all of you and helping you uh, get value from it so that we get to be here today. I'm David. I'm the founder of Rody. We do SaaS backstage with Tech Insights. And I have a belief that the last 15 years have brought about about great strides in engineering effectiveness. Um, we've had things like the cloud, Kubernetes, serverless, more ergonomic programming languages, faster builds, better version control, uh, CICD, microservices, so many amazing tools. But these tools have come at some cost, and the cost in my mind has been fragmentation. So deploying great code is now easier than ever, but discovering it again is more difficult than it's ever been. So my hope is that the next 15 years are going to be about defragmentation. We're going to make it easier for people to find the amazing things that they're building inside their companies. Great code only matters if people know that it exists. The Backstage software catalog makes it easy for teams to find the tools that other people are building inside their companies and get value from them instead of reinventing the wheel. Great code only matters if people know how to use it. Tech Docs helps people to learn how to use the tools that other people are building. It's easy to, easier to keep documentation updated, it's easier to find it, and it's easier to get value from it. Great code only matters if it fits into your production environment. The scaffolder lets organizations take best templates with the best practices of their organization built into them, give them to teams so that they can get started with creating new things more quickly, and those things will run in a more operable way in the production environments. Great code only matters if other functions inside your organization, like security and compliance, can work with the teams who produce it to ensure that it's secure, that it's production ready, and that it's compliant. Tech Insights helps teams do this with Backstage. In my experience as a developer, I was happiest when people were able to actually use the things that my team created and get value from them. Today, I hope you're going to hear stories of how engineering organizations are making their engine the rest of their teams happier and more productive by using Backstage. That's certainly our mission at Rody. And let's celebrate dev teams who are making it easier to work better together. Thank you. <laughs>